Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to make your own customizable Wix layout for IMVU, like the one that you see here. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Wix website. All links that I'll be using today will be in the description below. So the first thing you want to do when you're on the Wix website is go ahead and sign in. If you don't already have an account, just go ahead and sign up for one. But since I already have one, I'm just going to quick sign in. Once you create your account, you will be brought up to this page. Go ahead and just click start with Wix editor. And then after that, you'll be presented with all these different choices of what kind of website you want to create. I just selected other. It doesn't really matter which you select. Once that is done, you will be taken to this template page where you can pick your template. Uh, the templates are great and serve as a guideline for when you're making your website. Uh, these templates are very customizable and you can make them look however you want. I am just going to pick a random one. So once you find a layout that you like, all you need to do is hover over it and click on edit. And it will open up the Wix website editor. In here, you can change pretty much about everything. With individual panels, you can click on them and edit the text. So I'll make this my name. And within here, you can change the font. So say I wanted a different font. You can change the font size. And then once you're done editing it, you can just X out of the box. Move these buttons back down. For any image panels, all you have to do is click on change image. And then you would upload your image. And then once it's uploaded, you just click on it and select it and then click choose image. So there you go, I have my profile picture. You can also click on this design button. And you can change the shape if there's no frame or if you want to border around it and the different styles that the image actually is. You can also click customize design and you can edit all of these different options yourself. You can change the opacity, the width, etc. on all of the different bordered styles. Over here to the left you can change the background of the page. They have videos that you can change it to and a lot of different stock images that you can use. You can also click up here at the settings and change the opacity, how it's centered on the page, You can have different backgrounds on different pages, or if you would like the same background on all of your pages, you would click apply to other pages. And then all you need to do is select which ones you would like it on, and it would automatically apply that background to those selected pages. You can also click up here on the top and select image, go to my images, and you can upload your own background that you would like for the page, select it, and click change background. You can also do this for any videos or you can just make it one solid color if you would like. So now that we're done changing the background, we'll just close out of this. And I'm just gonna quick change the color of my text so that way it stands out a little bit more against the background. So I'm just changing it to white. And I'll close out of this. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing for these buttons up here so that way when people navigate, they can see it a little bit better. All I need to do is click on design. I can also change how this button header looks. There are a whole bunch of different presets that you can choose from. I think I'm going to stick with the one that was made with this website. I'm just gonna click on customize design, go to the text, 
and change the color to white so that way it stands out. You can also change the font. You can change the font size. Within here you can change the text color when it's hovered over. So when the mouse hovers over a uh, resume or projects, it will turn that bright blue color, as you can see home is. You can also change the color when people actually click on it, and it's that same, just bright blue, but you can customize it to whatever you want. Now that we're done designing the menu, close out. Over here to the left is our pages menu. As you can see by the pop-up, it's where you can move around to all of your different pages. So we'll just click on this drop-down arrow, Right now, what we are viewing is our homepage. We can switch to the other page just by clicking on it. And now we can see our resume, our projects, and our contact page. Say the template that you chose to edit, you don't want necessarily a resume page or a projects page. All you need to do to get rid of it is click on the triple dots, click delete, and then delete it. Same thing goes if I don't want the projects, I can just click on it and delete it. If you would like to add a page, all you have to do is click on the bottom, add page. You can make it to where the menu will take you to an outside link, or I can make a new page. So let's make a new page. I'll name my page gallery and click done. Now we have a gallery page. I'll just close out of this. Over here in the add section is where a lot of the editing is going to happen. If you click on it, you can see that you can add text and they have preset titles and fonts that you can choose. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna add it, drag and drop it into my page and just label it gallery. And I can change the font size, stretch it out so it fits. And there we go. Also within the add, you can add images. You can also add images from your social media and link it up. You can add a gallery where you can do a collage of multiple images. And there's a whole bunch of different selections there. You can add a slideshow where it will play through a slideshow of your choosing. So for now, I'm just going to drag and drop this first slideshow in. And all you have to do to manage it is go to Manage Slides. And here is where all of your slides will be. You can delete a slide, again, just by clicking on the triple dots and delete it. You can also duplicate a slide doing the same thing. You can rename it and then just click done. To change the actual image on the slide, all you have to do is click up here to change slide background. Yeah. And you just click on image. And then from your uploaded images, just put in whatever you want. For now, I'm just going to change it to a stock picture that they have. You can also apply it to the other slides if you wish. You can also add videos. And the text, you can also click on it and edit it and change the font size and everything is normal. You can change the highlight. Or if I don't want any highlight, I can just get rid of it. You can change the color. I'm going to make it underlined and bold. They also have an app market where you can search for any type of apps that you would like to put on to your Wix website. Um, they have forms, there's social media, uh, they have apps for blogs if you want to make a blog. If you want to add a comment section to your website, you can add it. There's a form builder and uh, forums that you can create. There's also a live chat that you can add to your site. It's just kind of endless what you can do with it. 
You can also go up here to categories and choose from a category. So if you would like, you can add a SoundCloud playlist. So you can sell downloads if you're a content creator. You can also add a Spotify player to automatically play music from your Spotify playlist. I'm going to navigate down to our contact panel. So here is a contact form that people can contact you through. You can change the design of this just as you can with most all of the panels. I'm going to select this one. You can go into settings. You can choose the email address that uh, you will get your messages to. You can also add a secondary email. You can also check what you want people to fill out when they send you an email. You can also check if it is mandatory to fill it in or not. So if I want, say, the subject to be a mandatory fill-in, all I have to do is click on it, and the star will fill in, stating that it is mandatory. Over here, we have a social link. Over here, we have a social link bar. And to edit this, all we have to do is click on Set Social Links. Click on the image, and then all you'd have to do is paste in your Facebook link here and click Done. The same thing with Twitter and your Google+. If you want to get rid of one, all you have to do is hover over it, click Remove, and it gets rid of it. If you would like to add a social icon, all you have to do is go up to here and go to Add Icons. So within here, I can choose the Instagram icon and click Add to Gallery, and it will add Instagram right there. And then all I have to do is put a link to my Instagram, and paste it in there, and hit done, and it would automatically be a button that people can click on, and it would take them directly to the page. So say I don't want this cell or email box here, this text box. All you have to do is click on it, and then over here to the right, there is a tool panel. And all I have to do is click on delete, and it will get rid of it. I'm going to navigate back to our homepage. I'm going to go over here to the add feature. And what I want to do is add some music for my homepage. They have different themed players that you can choose from. So for many players, all they allow you to do is select one song that you can put on your page. Spotify player would use your Spotify playlist. And same thing with the SoundCloud. Wix music is more for if you want to actually uh, create your own music and sell it. I am just going to use a mini player. So I want to choose this pink one. I'll just drag and drop it down into my home page. And then I just uploaded some random songs. So whichever song you want to choose to play, I will just select it and click add to page. And it automatically puts it in this player. To edit the settings, all I need to do is go over here to the cog wheel and click on it. I can change the track name, the artist name, uh, I can select so it auto plays on loading and that it also loops and the volume at which it plays when it's loaded. So you may have noticed this bottom section of the website has not changed as we switch to different forms of our website or our layout. This section is called the footer. The footer typically holds different contact information that you would like to add. You can also advertise uh, your shop. You can get rid of all together if you don't want it there. All you have to do is delete all of the, uh, the stuff inside this panel. So for me, I don't want this pink border going across the background. So I'm just going to select it and click delete and it gets rid of it. I can also get rid of this contact information if I don't want it there and the little icon. I can select everything and reposition it to the center. I could also add social media icons and then set all of the social links. If you want your music to play on all of the pages and not just your homepage, you could add the music player down in the footer, so that way it's always there and it'll always be playing no matter which uh, page the user moves to. So say I want to move my track player down into the footer, all I need to do is click on it and select move to footer. And it will put it down here in the footer where I'll just drag and drop it down here by my social links. And that's it. As you can see, Wix is very customizable. You can do about anything and everything with it. Uh, most all the stuff that you will need 
will be in this add section. So one thing we didn't go over are buttons. Buttons are used to navigate within your Wix website. So I could have a button for the gallery and then it would automatically uh, take people to the gallery section of the website when they click on it. Same thing with the contact, etc. Buttons can also be found here. And there are a whole bunch of different buttons that you can choose from, a whole bunch of different styles. So I am going to add this button to my site. All I have to do is drag and drop it. So I want this button to link to my contact page. So all I need to do is go up here to the little chain link and have this link to contact, then click done. You can also change buttons to work with uh, web addresses, email, phone number, documents, etc., etc. So you can have a button for your Facebook and it would, when it's clicked, it can open up to your Facebook or a video or you could advertise your IMVU products that you create. It's kind of up to you. There is a whole bunch more to Wix, but this video would be very, very, very long if I went into absolutely everything. So once you are happy with how your layout looks and it's exactly the way you want it, all you need to do is go up to here and click on save. And it will automatically save your website. All you need to do is click done. And in order to view the changes when you actually do it, you need to click publish. So now your website is live and online. And that is how you make a Wix layout for your IMVU homepage. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually upload and insert this Wix layout into your IMVU homepage. That video will also be listed in the description below and it should be at the end of this video. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or need help with anything, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And thanks so much for watching.